Good morning, world. How are you doing today? It's good to see you all. Thank you all so much for joining me. Really, really do appreciate it. Today is April 16th, 2024. It is 1025 a.m. on the east coast of the United States whole. Sugar Plum, my first member. Thank you, dear. <laughs> I think I sound like Katie. Thank you so much, my dear. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. There's only going to be two levels. I got to figure out how to fix it when I was fixing it. It did four levels. I didn't want four levels. So I'm going to have to contact YouTube and see how to take it off. So there's only going to be two levels on this channel. But thank you so much, my love. I really, really do appreciate it. It's good to see you all. So yesterday, if you joined us, we were talking about, well, we were going through discrepancies of Katie and Chris Proudfoot, right? And what I'm doing is I'm clipping these for my true crime channel. It's, you know, it's a little low key over here. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Yes. OK. All right, guys. I was able to edit my channel to one level only, but I don't remember how to do it. I don't know how to do it, Sarah. Good morning, SR. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So yesterday we did one of Dutchie's interviews. We did, um, who else? The hands interview and the first interview that they did with, who is it? The news, the news. Oh, thank you so much, Kathy. You are my second YouTube member. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Wiss. Thank you, my dear. Good morning, Harper. Hello, hello. Working but listening. Listen away, my dear. Thank you for being here. 
All right. So let's see here. Okay. So we got, I need to see which interview we need to do now. Box seven. Okay. That was the hands interview. I've got a list here I'm looking at right now. All right. You want to do Nancy Grace or Smiley's first? Let me know. Fairy, thank you so much. You're my third member on this channel. Thank you so much. Or Olivia. Olivia? Okay, let's do Olivia. We will do Olivia then. Okay, let me look at my... Chronicles of Olivia. Okay, I got all the links here. All right. Okay, that's the wrong link. It's supposed to be Chronicles of Olivia. Yep, that link is wrong. Let's see here. That's really weird. Guess I got the link wrong on that. Okay, here we go. Let's go to beautiful Olivia, who is such a sweet soul. If you've never met Olivia, she is just the kindest human being. And not to mention, she is, um, her mother is just the sweetest person you could ever meet. All right, so credit goes to our dear friend Chronicles of Olivia, and I need to put her in the link here. Okay, credit. Bear with me, y'all. All right, here we go. Why is it not letting me save it? That's weird. One second, y'all. It's being weird. Why is it being so weird? I'll do it like this then. There we go. All right. Oh, my God. Thank you, guys. Fragile Like a Bomb, you're my fourth member on this channel. Estelle, you are my fifth member on this channel. Thank you so much, my dears. I really do appreciate it. Y'all are very, very, very sweet. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. Good morning, Max Chica. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button if you haven't yet already. So if you did- In today's video, I interviewed the mother and stepfather. If you didn't get to join us yesterday, so what we are doing, we are clipping certain things that we think that may be a discrepancy about things that they said in other things. And that way, on my true crime channel and i'm going to make a video as well where they said this on this channel they said this on this channel because i haven't seen anybody really do that yet because it does take a lot of time that's why i'm doing it live and also you guys help with remembering things that i'll never remember right oh max chica thank you so much you are my sixth member on this channel thank you my love i appreciate you and fun size you are my seventh member on this channel. Thank you, loves. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for your support. All right, so here we go. Let's get started. Father was Sebastian Rogers. All right, now let me know if uh, you think I should clip something, okay? Just write in big cap letters, clip, okay?
Can you recap the overall story of Sebastian's disappearance? Kind of walk through that day. Um, Sunday, the day before he went missing. Um, we got up and fun fact, I made breakfast that morning. <laughs> fun fact, she made breakfast that morning. <laughs> and she just mom of the year for that fun size thank you for gifting five memberships oh my god thank you so much my dear i really really do appreciate it if you received a membership thank fun size thank you so much fun size so we got uh 12 members 12 members y'all are my 12 t first 12 members so please thank Fun Size for that. That's very sweet, Fun Size. Thank you, my dear. All right. So are you saying I should clip this? Thank you, Miss Fletcher. I, I need to make you a mod one second. Should I clip this part or no? Let me know what you think. Fun fact. Fun fact, she made nothing. And there's my tanks. Where is Ms. Vlutcher? Oh, thank you so much again, Fun Size. That's very sweet of you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think we're good there. Okay. All right, I'll clip this part. Um, we had a good time. One second. I'm going to clip this. Let me get my little clipper out. Okay. Here we go. And fun fact, I made breakfast that morning. <laughs> um, we had a good time. We were laughing. We were joking. Um, he talked to family on the phone during breakfast to brag. Um, we went and picked up our niece. Yes, uh, yeah, I got a call and um, Asked if I could go and pick her up, and I did. And so um, we went and did that. We went to BJ's. Um, had a good time there. He ate a colossal popcorn. Um, came home to put groceries away because we got snacks because, you know, he's 15 and snacks. Um, we went to the bowling alley. And then from there, we went to dinner, came home. Um, he took out the trash because that's his chore. He takes the can to the end of the driveway. Um, about nine o'clock, told him to go to bed. He's come out of his room where he was playing. He said, all right, good night, mama. Good night, puppies. I love you. And went to bed. Um, he was doing something in his room because about an hour later I heard some noise and I was like, I don't care what you're doing in there, but go to sleep. And um, about midnight I got up and I went to bed. And um, six o'clock I went to wake him up for school Monday morning. And that's when he went in here. What was going through your mind at that point? Like, what were. Because he's 15, he snacks. Because he's 15, snacks. He's going to have snacks. Snacks. Oh, I clipped all that. Did she say he took the trash out? Yes, yeah, she said he took the trash out. Just an hour later, she went to bed. Yes, that's true. Hmm. All right. Um, notice how 
Chris. Let me show you this part right here. Right here. Again, Watch him. Um, he talked to family on the phone during breakfast to brag. Watch this. Um, Watch her look at him. He'll nod up. We went and picked up our niece. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I got a call. And um, that always bothers me. And you can tell it's almost like a kid doing math. You know, as a parent, you're sitting there and you're like, you know, you know, you're adding it with them and you're doing your head like this. You get what I mean? He's like just waiting to hit everything. We went. Yes. Good morning, Mama Shell. Good morning. Morning, good morning, good morning. Hope Fun says, thank you so much for gifting another membership, sweetheart. That's so sweet. If you received a membership, please thank our sweet Fun size here. All right, so let's, we got the snacks. Love you, love you. I went to bed. Okay. He used to come out of his room where he was playing. He said, all right, good night, Mama. Good night, puppies. I love you. He went to bed. Um, he was doing something in his room because about an hour later I heard some noise and I was like, I don't care what you're doing in there, but go to sleep. Go to sleep. And um, about midnight I got up and I went to bed. And um, six o'clock I went to wake him up for school Monday morning. And that's when he went in here. What was going through your mind at that point like what were the feelings that you were feeling to censor myself holy freaking crap this can't be happening where is my kid choice words were used um like you know where the f is he you know um this is I one of the most suspicious things through the house for him because it was typical for him to get up and come and rummage for snacks and things like that and he likes to dip behind the, you know, walls and watch, you know, and, um, and then he comes out after I come back and he likes to scare me. <laughs> but, um, after I looked and I mean, mind you, all of this took place in like one minute flat, but, um, I didn't see him in his room. I looked all over, I ran through the whole house. I looked out all the doors and windows and I was like hollering his name. And, um, I picked up the phone and I called my husband and I said, um, I can't find him. And he said, what do you mean? I said, he's not in this effing house. I can't find our son. And, um, i like, I jumped in my car and I drove around the neighborhood and I drove over by the school and he's already like, I, at this point I was like hysterical and I was crying. And, Cough. and, and um, <coughs> he was like, um, uh, three way, he three way law enforcement. And um, was telling them like our son is missing and we don't know what's going on. And he like he was like go back to the house. They're on their way. And I ran back, well, drove back to the house. And um, twenty days later, we didn't find him. She gets very, very anxious after that cough. That's when she starts doing this. Justin, do you know when? Uh, I think it's tomorrow, 911. Oh, I clipped all that. I clipped every bit of that. Yeah. Because she's thinking in her head at that point, and this is what she starts doing. Not upset at all about talking about it. Uh, it's just about hitting the next note so to speak watch this away and i ran back well, drove back to the house and you know, we don't know what's going on and he like he was like go back to the house they're on their way and i ran back well, drove. go back in the house they're on their way so i drove that is what made him cough and he like he was like go back to the house they're on their way and i ran 
go back to the house. They're on their way. Well, you was on the phone. Silly. Go back to the house and, um, days later and yeah i can't even imagine how stressful that uh, and i drove around the neighborhood and I, sorry maybe it was before that i can't find him and he said what do you mean i said he's not in this effing house i can't find our son and um i like i jumped in my car and i drove around the neighborhood and i drove over by the school and he's already like I, at this point i was like hysterical and i was crying i was screaming He's already, he's already. Justin, I have a question. Is the trailer that they have now at Yogi Park the same as the one Chris had prior? Yes, it's the same one. Same one. Yeah. Yep, same one. I've got some pictures I'm going to show this evening, by the way. He's already, exactly, exactly. He's already. Then there's the cough. Coughed out of nowhere. And uh, <coughs> he Watch was her. like, um, uh, three ways. He three ways. It's very apparent that she gets anxiety here the cough and then she pauses because she's got to think and then she starts with this and then three-way he three-way she's having to remember this that's why she repeated it three-way he three-wayed she's this is finding order and reducing anxiety and uh, <coughs> he was like, um, uh, three ways. He three ways. See, law enforcement, and um, was telling them like our son is missing and we don't know what's going on. And he like he was like, go back to the house. They're on their way. And I ran back, well, drove back to the house. And um, twenty days later, they found him. God. Yeah, I can't even imagine how stressful. She closes off her story by saying a generic thing by saying 20 days later, he's still missing. It cuts it off, right? It's an easy way to end it. The conversation, remove the anxiety and move to the next one. Cool. That is and. Also, um, like when we were driving up here, like this neighborhood is so pretty and nice. And um, do you think, has he ever like walked away before? Or, like has that ever happened? It's just, no, no um, first time. He's not a child that wonders. He's not one that is prone. He doesn't have a history of being no. an eloper, which is common. And I have friends with, children on the spectrum who do struggle with elopement with their children, but no, Sebastian, that's one thing. He's always been a blessing. He's not been an eloper or a runner. Um, his, his primary areas are like social and emotional dysregulation issues and things like that. Um, but he's very smart. He's functional. Um, Thank you, Canadian Cookie. Thank you so much. Um, five, six, 10, 11, 12. You are my 14th member, Canadian Cookie. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, dear. It means so much. Thank you, sweetheart. Overall, he's a pretty happy kid. I mean, he's. He's a teenager. He's coming into his hormones. He's angry that he's growing a mustache. But um, for the most part, he's a happy kid. And um, what are your theories? Like, I'm sure your mind has thought of every possible thing that could have happened. But is there any theory that you can talk about? Who said that he 
can you tell me who the person was that said he ran away before and went under a car? And how long ago was that? I know everyone says like he ran or he ran away. He would go to the school and he hid under a car. A neighbor. It was on the dispatch call. I would hope that TBI and FBI separate Chris and Katie and give Katie in particular a thorough interrogation without Chris present. The thing is, they have to be willing, right? You don't have to, you don't have to be interviewed by police. You know, that's, I know a lot of people say, well, why don't they take them down there and just interview them? Well, they don't really have to. You would think that they would want to, and they should. Right? This is their child, but they don't technically have to. You don't have to speak to police. Neighbor two doors down to police searching. Okay, Canadian. Oh, that you think? What I can tell you is with all law enforcement, with everybody really? that's involved, there's nothing that's been eliminated. Everything is on the table. Everything is being looked at from every possible aspect. Um, everything from he got out and walked away and was outside of the search radius before we started searching to the yeah. worst. Yeah. And, and that's currently where we're at. I mean, it's... Yeah. Really trying not to go down that road because well, we're going to find him. Speculating causes problems. Assumptions cause issues. And based on facts of what everybody knows, right now, there's nothing and everything is still on the table to be looked at. I just know he's out there somewhere. I agree, JK. One other question I have is recently Early. Channel 5 in Nashville, they had security footage that showed two flashlights um, the night he disappeared. Is there anything um, that you think about this video? or? Sure. So <laughs> there's a lot of speculations about that video that are floating on the internet. Okay. And that is exactly what it is. It's speculations. Now, what I can give you an official statement on is... By the way, Chris cannot give an official statement. Only authorities can give official statements. He can only officially speak for himself. TBI Newslink has released a statement. I mean... Those, you guys know that that video drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. Because I have a lot of questions when it comes to that. I want, you know, like Seth, I love him to pieces, right? And I will defend Seth as much as, right, what I believe. You know, I believe he's completely innocent. But those tr trash truck videos, I'm just not sure. I don't know if he's, I know they weren't supposed to be out there. I do know that. And everyone's kind of split on them. I just wish they would put the whole damn thing out Trump. then. Law enforcement, between local law enforcement, state law enforcement, some federal law enforcement, and they have analyzed that video so many times over that everything that everybody is trying to assume is a flashlight, I'm, I hate to say this, it's not. As much as we would love it to be one, it's not. Thank you. Um, 
I'm not going to go into details as far as where that video is shot from, but I can tell you. We know where that video is shot from. We do. We absolutely do. He loves to hear his voice. Loves to hear himself. Got me on the big screen. Oh my God, I need to make my screen smaller. Probably look terrible. <laughs> Don't tell me that. As the parents, we have seen the video firsthand from law enforcement. We know exactly where it was taken from. And nothing that is being assumed right now is actually true about that video, unfortunately. And anything about other, any other videos or anything like that, please refer to the TBI news link that they have out there, the Am updated Amber Alert stuff, and it will give you the most up-to-date information that all inf uh, law enforcement has, Thank you. and they will give you current as far as what's what and how they're looking at things. <laughs> and if there's any new video, forward it to them. Please. Yeah. Um, security footage is really like a game changer. Um, we're working on Riley's strain and trying to find like if someone missed one on a corner or something. So I guess I guess Seth saw it whenever he saw the video of the proof of life whenever he was viewing Katie and Sebastian on the restaurant footage outside he said there is absolutely no doubt in his mind that it is a trash truck that part doesn't bother me i mean it does but it doesn't okay the part that bothers me and i've said this a thousand times i'll say it a thousand more probably why if we know it's a trash truck, why won't the sheriff just say it was a trash truck video and it has nothing to do with this case? Why can't you just say it's a trash truck video? He's like, I don't know what it is. It might have something to do with it later. We don't know. You don't know what you don't know. Well, Seth already told us it was a trash truck video. So, I don't know. And then, there's something in it. There's something in that video. I, I feel it, guys. There's something in that video. Why would we only see one-fourth of the video, number one? And it's a 15-minute video. Why is it a 15-minute video? Why isn't it? Oh, absolutely, they can lie. Why isn't it a three minute video? Right. Why? I like, there's just too much. Well, he says there's no doubt power packs, uh, powder pack, sorry. But maybe it wasn't supposed to be out, and he's just, you know, Seth is law enforcement himself and maybe he's could be just saying that to be saying it you know putting it out there they don't want us to know what it is move along nothing to see here i don't know heard they showed seth video of a trash truck just to key i don't know i don't know i really don't you know like Oh, me. Around this neighborhood, um, and this, well, this whole community, I mean, I can tell you that much here. When it comes to the cameras, here's Mayor. One person that has said no. And trust me, it is greatly felt that everybody has been so open, so helpful in pushing out any which way they can. I mean, there's been some families that have actually been on vacation. I mean, let's be real here. The, the authorities has a hell of a lot more than we know. 
they have to have a lot more than we know. If Katie did not take Sebastian out that morning at whenever she was looking for him, right? Then there has to be a vehicle that pulled up to that house at some point between the hours, in my opinion, from 8 p.m. to 5.30 a.m. Right? So they have to have something, you would hope. But I'm telling you, I mean, guys, we're time's ticking on this case. Time is ticking. And people are frustrated. You know, TBI, like I used to really give them a, a lot more grace, but damn, it's like, what? The timeline is incorrect. They weren't home and they got... Something happened, in my opinion, right after he took out the trash. Or maybe it wasn't him that took out the trash. You can't really tell. You can just see someone out there now authorities may know who it was uh from what i understand they had like a hoodie on and from they got permission from that family to take a look at their cameras and go in their houses without them even being present uh which has been amazing so mm. but yeah that's good. Um, if there was something that you could say to Sebastian, if he was listening, what would you say? Okay, I'm going to clip this. Should I? I don't know if I should clip this. Should I clip it? Do they say anything else that could contradict? Probably not, but she has the look of regret. I think she's hey blue eyes. Good to see you, honey. Let's go. Hey. Oh brother. Um that if you can see this or hear this, that we just want you home, baby, and we love you. And um there ain't nothing going to stop us from coming and getting you and bringing you home. You know who Katie reminds me of? A wish version of Jane Seymour. You get, you know who Jane Seymour is? Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, who in the 90s I was obsessed with. Susan Smith. Susan Smith. Kind of like, uh, hold on. Let me see who Susan Smith is. Oh, that's okay. Not that Susan Smith. Okay. Uh, let me check something. I don't know. She kind of maybe of Susan Boyle <laughs> and Jane Seymour. Maybe that's who it is. She reminds me of. 
Jane Seymour is pretty. Katie would Katie's like I bet you Katie's pretty when she's done up. I bet she really is. I said a wish version, y'all. For God's sakes. Not a um Timu version. Timu, there's Wish and there's Timu. And then, you know, there's premium, I guess. I don't know. Yes, I uh, I have some of Jane Seymour's furniture uh, that she did with a designer named Michael Amini. I love Jane Seymour's style. I have, I have her, I have the dining room. I have one of the dining room sets. And one of the living room sets and one of the bedroom sets. So listen, big fan, not of Katie. Don't insult team is like that either. <laughs> she reminds me. Does anyone know who Susan Boyle is? She was on America's Most, I was going to say America's Most Wanted, America's Got Talent. She's like, I dream. I can't even sing right now. My voice is gone. She kind of reminds me of Susan Boyle and Jane Seymour. Cross. Yeah, well, it's, it's not really opera, but yeah. Katie reminds me of my ex's mom. I bought Susan Boyle's album when it came out. I wanted to support her. Simon Cowell said when he first looked at her, so mean. You know. I don't think you should ever be, I don't think you should ever crush someone's dream just like that. That's very cruel to just crush someone's dream, right? But, you know, let them down in a, a decent way. Yes. I just put my hair up so I could look like Jane Seymour, too. <laughs> Thanks, Chica. <laughs> I can't speak for his father, but I'm pretty sure we all have the same opinion. That we love you, miss you, we want you home. If you can, call us, get wherever you can, let she us can know. Sing, definitely. We will come get you. Call 911, run out to the street, go in public, anything. The signs that we've been blessed to have family, friends, and even some in the community that have been helping us, but we've been out spreading those as far Like, she said he walked out. She's like, I don't know why he walked out that door in one of these interviews. I don't know why he walked out that door. You know, and she's like, run to the street or whatever. Well, who says he's with someone? Maybe he's out in the woods or something, right? Didn't we all want to be Dr. Quinn? Hell no, she didn't have electric. I don't want to be anybody don't have electric. Mm -mm. No ma'am, no ham, no turkey. Uh-uh. Nope. Sure don't. As we can, even over state lines, um, trying to get she was second. awareness because... You know, not everybody knows that he's missing. Oh my God, I thought you were talking about me, Harper, for a minute. I was like, well, I never. That's what my Aunt Edie used to say. <gasps> she was born in 1912 or 1915 or something. <gasps> well, I never. Well, I never. I never. <sighs> 
Excellent. I am. There's a chance that so we want to get his face out there because we want him home. Surprisingly, even locally, there are some folks that don't kind even know hurt. what's going on. And it, it's kind of like a shocker. Like, how do you not know? You know, it, it's, it is amazing because in the past couple of weeks, you've got two cases. A 15-year-old boy that has vanished without a trace. You've got a 22-year-old, six-foot, filler words, four or seven uh, college kid from Missouri who has vanished without a trace. He's comparing them. That that's a huge significance here. That it's like, wow, how? That's <laughs> so, scary. Yeah. Hey, Lisa. Good uh, morning. The, the college kid is from Missouri, I think. Yeah, Missouri. I can only imagine what his family is going through. It's like your worst nightmare come alive. Do you guys receive heat that, on the internet? Yes, and it's ongoing. It's every single day. Um, people are people, and they have their opinions. We are. Um, we do. Everybody is formulating their idea of what's going on and who's guilty and who's not guilty. Because they, want I mean, we can have our opinions, but we cannot make a person guilty. See, that's the thing that drives me nuts with this. We can have our opinions, but we cannot, no matter how much a person thinks or believes, we, you and I, cannot make Chris or Katie or any human being guilty or innocent. We can't make them. Whether they did it or they didn't, we just have an opinion of it based upon what we know, their behavior, and all of that. That's all it is. Yeah, we're not a court of law. Not a court of law. Oh, my God. Chris is... And Katie, she laughs at some very inappropriate times. Very inappropriate times. And she'll like, back to this one. Like he was hiding around the door. <laughs> Sneaking around the door. <laughs> it's over. Farmer's wife and babe. want to know or they feel they need to know there's a difference unfortunately what i will tell you is that when you're the family in this position and you're working with law enforcement which it is and everything's going the way it goes people automatically assume this parent or that parent and in this situation i can promise you Every Here we go. I need to clip this. Every single parent has been vetted. I can't go into details, but I can tell you we have been, been vetted, vetted and we have been cleared um, of all possibility of wrongdoing, foul play. There's nothing to that. Um, <laughs> We've heard all kinds of stories. I pretty much don't even go online anymore at this point. I, on the other hand, I do go on and I do talk to these folks and I want them to understand they have this formulated opinion on who we are, not who we truly are. They've never met us. We've never been, we've never crossed paths with some of these folks, but I have told them all online. If you want to know, just ask me. I'll answer your questions to the best of what I can. There are some things that I cannot give you because law enforcement has dictated that we are not to provide certain information. But I will try. I am direct. I am brash, but I am very respectful. So. 
If you have questions, ask. I'll give you what I can. Just be respectful, please. And keep in mind, there's three parents and there's thousands and millions of people out there that may have a question. I am, we are trying to get to them, I promise you. How has your guys' life When the moon hits your eye like a bigger pizza pie, that's amore. He is direct, he is brash, but he is very, very respectful, y'all. Very respectful. He's respectful. Makes me want to, like, vomit been affected sure. by this like i know that's a broad question but what's like when you wake up in the morning what's it just like miserable to be honest with you think of it like this you wake up every morning and your routine is what it is and you know it right now wake up when this happens and you can't figure out what to do you struggle every single day on trying to get out of the bed to deal and face everybody's negativity you are the weakest remember that show the weakest link that little british lady you are the weakest link goodbye it's time for now you are the weakest link goodbye that was a good show that's an old show. That was like, was that 90s? Showing my age. I loved her though. She was an old hag, but I loved her. God, she made that show. I didn't even care what she said. Like, I didn't even care about the game show. It was just her attitude. All that, it's still on? No, I want the old lady. I want the old short-haired lady. No, I want a hag. I want just an old... You know. Hold on one second, Mina. Come on. Two thousand one. Wow. Yeah. I just like to... She would like insult people. I love the way the British insult people. It's so funny. You know, and you try to make it a positive thing. Or the fact that my son's still not born. Yeah. You know, we have a bedroom that's empty that is never normally ever empty, except for when he's with his dad every other weekend. So now we have a child that's missing. Right here. I. He's like, we got a bedroom empty that's never normally empty. Did you notice that? So there's no words to describe it, but I can just tell you, it's like you get up and now you don't know what to do. Sebastian's parents also talked about how his actions and behaviors could be different or how he would respond in a new environment. Well, that's, that's kind of tricky because <laughs> Sebastian hasn't been on his medication in 20 days. So he is rambunctious. He, he's going to be hungry. He will, he, he turns into the bottom of his pit. I mean, he, he's your teenage boy, you know, always hungry. Um, on the spectrum, yes. But not one autistic child in this world is like another one. What we can tell you is he's he's smart. He can be goofy. Um, he kind of yeah. has issues with personal space. He hasn't mastered. He can be a, <laughs> up in your face kind of kid. He's <laughs> he can be aggressive if he's upset. Yeah, he's emotional. He's She was, and I'm a celebrity too. 
I don't know what that is. I'm a celebrity too. Oh my God, Canadian. Thank you for gifting a membership, my dear. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. If you received that membership, please think Canadian cookie, my dear. He goes right to the issues. Why does she rarely look up? Well, in my opinion, it's because whenever you're lying, it's hard to look at someone in the eye or body language. But she will say she's looking at his photo. I can say, okay, that's that's very nice. You're looking at the photo. But look at the camera. Look at the camera in case your son is out there. He would like to see his mother's face. Right? It's my opinion, but yes. It's hard. I mean, it goes back to, you know, your your eyes are the window to the soul, right? Your eyes are the window to the soul. And it really, your eyes tell a lot. It tells a story. Jessica, thank you so much, my love. They are so annoying with the hunger. He was skinny while they are nice and portly. I couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. It's always talking about he's sneaking into the kitchen, grabbing snacks and this and that. Well, he's 15. Snacks. I mean, I don't know about you, but if you have boys, teenage boys, they eat constantly. Constantly. They're growing. They are growing. I could I could never imagine telling a child that they couldn't eat when they wanted to eat. I could I just couldn't imagine that. Could not imagine that. I don't like my I was raised with my grandmother. My grandmother taught me if someone comes to your house, you make sure they're eating. Shove, give them something to eat, right? I can't imagine saying you can't eat right now. When I'm hungry, I go to the refrigerator, right? I make dinner. I do whatever, right? If I'm hungry. Your kid is growing their mind, their body. And I'll tell you, I like to eat at night. That's when I like to eat. It's so bad. But it's he's a teenager. He's got he doesn't like punch and hit and throw, but he no. gets really like aggressive stance or like clipped where he just won't talk to you. I think Sebastian was changing physically and mentally. I think he was changing, and I think he was standing up, and that is just something that they could not tolerate. And they snapped. Listen, kids will try you. They absolutely will. If you've had children, it's teenagers, any kid, at any age, they'll try you, right? But as they're growing up to be an adult, you know, teenage years, they're going to try you more. They're trying to see what they can get by with as they become more independent, right? But in my opinion, in Chris's house, you bow to him for everything where it's over. Like it's over. There's It's Chris's way or no way. And I think Sebastian was 15 years old. He wanted friends, right? He wanted more freedom. Why can't I, you know, play my games? I'm 15 years old. 
right? As an autistic individual, yes, we live off snacks. Because snacks. Yes. And, you know, some people, I don't know if you, like, I was a late bloomer. I was a late bloomer. And, like, when I was in sixth grade, like, all the boys, they started, like, and their voice was popping, cracking and everything. And I was just in my same jeans as I was in fifth grade. And I'm like, hey, girls, what's up? You know, so I was a late bloomer, but it was like they changed overnight mentally. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes it's like sometimes if you're quiet when you're a kid, and then, like, you go through puberty, they're, like, they're opposite. Like, it changes everything. I know. They still haven't bloomed. It's probably not going to either. You know, I'm halfway to dead already, and that's if I live a, a good 80 years. So, probably not going to happen at this point. 40, almost. Yeah. You know, if he's really upset, he, like, growls. Yeah, he... Can you imagine Sebastian getting a stance with Chris? Can you imagine him getting a stance and growling at Chris? How do you think that would go? Can the FBI investigate, please? Absolutely. Yes, they sure can. They probably won't, though, but they don't usually. TBI, I mean, they can, but I doubt it if they would. Usually it's smaller precincts. Sure, look. Be vigilant. You know, and we don't expect everybody to stop what they do and spend every waking minute. But you would be surprised on how easily people are complacent and not real. I know we, I know they don't expect us to have people spend every waking minute because they don't eat themselves. They don't even do nothing. What are they doing? What are they doing? Chris, did you take that lie detector test? Did you? Everyone's on Seth right now. Oh, Seth fell asleep. He didn't pass it. We have no idea if he didn't pass it or not. We have no idea. What I do know is he's out there busting his ass day and night. Night and day. But hopefully we'll know tomorrow on Nancy Grace. Bombshell tonight. I am Nancy Grace. I love Nancy. Oh, my God. Camille, thank you so much, honey. Thank you, baby doll. You don't have to do that. You really don't have to do that. Thank you, Camille. If you received one of Camille's 10, 10, 10 memberships, please give her a big, big thank you. Thank you, my love. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Camille's such a sweetheart. Hey, girl. Hey, how you doing? Appreciate it. Flip which part's on you. That's so nice, Camille. Oh, Camille, I need to make you a mod. Good God. Which part do I need to clip? Where is it at?
I don't think so, Mr. Cashman. That is a that's a comment. And listen, I was talking to someone who was in the military for several years, and we were talking about this case. And this is very well known that mothers who, if they are ever deployed or gone a lot, especially military, when their child is a baby, newborn or a baby, they many of them have a hard time bonding with their child. So there's that. Thank you, Camille. Thank you again, sweetheart. Hey, Sonia. My heart is broke for Sebastian. Yeah. Oh, thank Camille. You don't have to do that. Thank you uh, for checking on. Oh, of course. Of course, Camille. You're the sweetest. You guys are. Y'all are my family here. I love every one of y'all. Y'all are so sweet. I don't believe anyone in Chris's family is hiding him. Uh through wouldn't risk it for the situation, fifth wife and angry ex, and these two were one foot in divorce land. Yeah. I don't think um I don't think Chris's family is involved whatsoever, personally. I don't think they're involved whatsoever. Now, could they have loaned him a car? Or could he have went to their business had keys to the car or whatever to a work vehicle absolutely but i don't think they got their hands dirty so to speak i think they could have assisted him knowingly or unknowingly with resources that they have maybe due to their business. But I don't think that they, he called them and been like, hey, I need help. I'm in trouble. That's just my opinion, though. Realize certain things. We're all guilty because we're all human. We all live a daily life. But sometimes just being a little bit extra vigilant Yes. Yes. I mean, I think they they want they want what they want for sure. I just don't feel like they're willing to lose in case their creature comfort. You never know. But don't ever stop is all we ask. Please keep looking, keep searching. Um anything, reach out. You know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're going to definitely, um, you know, keep his story in the spotlight. And all it takes is for one person to see something or know something. And so that's just, that's one just that one clue. The old um, saying, see something, say something. And a few others, but we're working with everyone we can. And take in, like some people have been kind and reached out with resources that I didn't know were out there. And I've reached out to all of them. Uh, um, truckers against trafficking. We reached out to them just in case. Biker world. That's one thing everybody. Lavender, you're still on the fence of their involvement. That's that's fair. Um, I'll. Uh, th I mean, this is my thing. This is my thing. How in the hell did? A 15 year, this is my thing, Lavender. How in the hell did a 15 year old child, teenager, walk out of the house, you not hear it or anything? You had, meaning Chris and Katie, had security cameras in that house. They won't admit it. They say, well, we're not going to talk about our security system or whatever. And it's 26 degrees. 
but you don't have a security system. You don't have cameras or anything. That's personal. I'm like, and then their behavior since. I just, I, that's the part I just don't, I just don't get. Right, Angela. Pervy. He has in common is their love for a child and they can't stand to see children missing, hurt. And it doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter what group it is. That's one commonality between every group. And that's why as a, as a part of being in that world, we go and we utilize our brothers and sisters to help spread that word. You'd be surprised on how easy it is to spot somebody. This, this, the biker. So, um, how can people help every, I mean, this community, I'm going to tell you right now, far and wide, multiple communities, uh, counties, various people, some people in other States, uh, reach out either through social media. God, this man, I'm telling you, he's a mess. He's a damn mess. Okay, so now we're going to listen to Smiley's interview with Chris and KT. Let me pull her up. All right. Here we go. Oh, damn. Hold on one second. I need to change accounts so I we don't have commercials on here. Oh, we just hit 3,000 on this channel. Yay. Thank you, guys. Shit, a break. All right. That's amazing, y'all. Thank y'all. All right. So credit goes to our dear friend, Smiley's Stories World. Okay. Link will be provided in the description. Let's see here. For the full interview without commentary, let's roll. A bunch of misinformation being spread and everybody not connected. You okay? I see Katie. Hold on. We're gonna put it at one point two. Hi. Hello. Okay. Um, I'm I'm kind of surprised, but um, let me know thank if I need to clip anything for coming up here. I appreciate that. Um, how are you, how are you feeling today? Pretty terrible, to be honest with you. Twenty four days in, and there's a bunch of horrible things being said, and a bunch of misinformation being spread, and my son is still missing. We triggered them really bad. Josh, Smiley, Trevor, and I, we were on my panel, if y'all remember. We asked him, him to come up, but he wouldn't. He will not talk to a man. He will not talk to a man in an interview. It's so weird. So weird. And so it's, it's horrible. There's not a better word for it, to be honest with you. Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm glad you come up here and I will um, I ask my chat to please be respectful and I will let you say what you feel. And, you know, again, I wasn't expecting this, but you're more than welcome to say what you feel. And if it's OK, you know, um, I, I would like to ask some questions, but uh, I would like to talk about Sebastian and 
um, you know, maybe we could just start there. I think he is too, but I told him start with me, you know, work your way up. I'm a girly boy. So, you know, start with me. Come out of the closet, Chris. Start your interviews with me. Would that be okay? He would not like my questions. Yeah, I think Chris is still trying to join as well. Oh. Because I'll be honest with you, I would fry his fritters. I was praying to God he would come up. And I would have done it very respectfully. You know that. But I would have fried his fritters. Chloe Jade, what are you doing? Okay, I didn't know if he was, yeah, I didn't know. A lot of people are accusatory when we speak. Just, oh, it's a lie. Oh, it's not us. And Yeah, well. The truth is, is no matter what any of y'all think, I didn't do anything to my son. My husband didn't do anything to my son. We love him. Dearly, and we are doing everything that we can to try and find him and bring him home. And his father loves him dearly as well. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, you know, there's a lot of questions that people have and a lot of what ifs. and. I hope you're feeling better, Miss Curvy. You, you doing okay? You know, I know sometimes it's it's tough. I mean, I've seen a lot of cases like this, and I know, I you know, I, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Let me say that I would not want to be in your shoes. I wouldn't want um, anybody to have to be in my shoes. To be honest with you, it's nothing any parent should ever have to go through. Right, right. Um, you know, I've. <laughs> I've, I've seen in my own family, um, you know, I've actually had a runaway and I ended up murder and I know it's not the same. It's not my child. Um, although I have lost a child and this is not about me. It's about Sebastian, but I will tell you, nobody should have to sit in your shoes. There's not words that I can say. Um, but also I do have an autistic son and I know many do. I'll drop it Justin, have you heard that law enforcement search the construction landfill, not the residential landfill? Yes. Yes. Uh, they did search the construction. Hold on. They did search the one in Kentucky. I can't remember which one that was. But they may have searched both. We're just not. We just don't. No, we was not supposed to know about the one in Kentucky. I do know that for a fact. We were not supposed to know about, we weren't supposed to know about that. Her teacher not found not guilty of essay. Oh my God, Miss Kirby, are you serious? That's crazy. Wow. Like again. Construction. Dropping it again. I think she's having a bad signal. I don't know where she's at. Well, the one, the Gallatin or whatever, that's on fire. She may be where she can't get the signal good. No worries, Debbie. Here she is back. Okay, Katie. Okay, there you go. Sorry about that. <laughs> and you may have a bad signal somewhere. I don't know if you're having like rain or anything, but it keeps going in and out, but that's okay. Um, but anyway, it, you know, the main thing is people just have a lot of questions and just trying to make sense of everything. And uh, you're here. Okay, Chris, um, I'm dropping the link again. I told nobody not to get it, but you. Here you go, sir. Oh, drop again. Sorry. There you go. Uh, if you'll just click on that. But I do, you know, still with anything that we personally go through, there's nothing. It's not the same. And I understand that. And so I am very sorry. I'm very sorry for for you all, all three of you. I can feel I can feel when his dad talks it. I can feel that pain. And, and you know, it's just different. I'm not trying again to accuse. You know, Himalaya, I think you're right about that. I remember hearing that, too. I may be wrong, but I thought I recalled the door still being locked from inside when Kay checked that morning. I believe you're right.
Thank you, Jeannie. Thank you, my dear. Like I said, anybody, I'm just trying to make sense of everything. And that's all I can say. I just, I can't be fake. I have to be honest, you know. So well, it's your opinion and you're entitled to it, obviously. But I can tell you that the pain that his father and I, and even my husband are feeling right now is immeasurable, to be honest with you. And I have... Never in my life would I have ever dreamed that this would be a reality. Yes, ma'am. I don't think anybody, I don't think anybody ever thinks this will happen to them. Hey, Chris. Hey. Um, yeah, you, you surprised me calling me. <laughs> You surprised me calling me, but I'm glad I could bring you on and, um, you know, hopefully, you know, talk about this. A lot of people's just interested. I know it's irritating and um, I, I just, I, I know it's irritating. Uh, it, oh, me my included. God. Sorry, I, I was I'm muted. Sorry, I was muted. What was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Oh, in the dispatch call, the operator said the doors were still locked. Yes, that is absolutely right. It's only my first mute. We're an hour and 23 minutes in, y'all. Come on, work with me. <laughs> you know, I got to mute myself. Too, but we're just all... Twice. There's no, we all have opinions and there's no stone we can leave unturned. We have to think outside the box. And I know it's irritating to y'all. I know it's irritating to everybody, but we all want Sebastian found. And, um, you know, I just told Katie, you know, we just have to go with, we all have our opinions and they may not always be good, but, you know, my heart's in the right place. But go ahead and um, I'll let you start or whatever you want to do. So, Um, do me a favor. I got to drop out of this. I got to make a phone call real quick, and I will be back. This is my okay. call. I don't okay. Care. I don't. I don't miss this phone call because it's my daughter. No, you go I'll ahead. Go back ahead. And hang tight. Give me about five, ten minutes. I'll be right back. You're fine. You're fine. We'll be here. Um. Is yeah. good? You're still. You're okay. Hold Hello? up. That's me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna knock you off for a minute. You just come back when you're ready. Okay. Um. So I think he's on mute. Okay. So can that, that'll uh, clarify that side of the question everybody's been asking. No, he does not have a restraining order against from his daughter. He speaks to her just to go ahead and clear that one out because I know there's been a lot of talk about that as well. Yeah. So I mean, uh, he still speaks to her on the phone, as y'all see. Absolutely. Yeah. That little girl is precious in love, just like Sebastian. Yeah. So somebody's wanting to know um, that question's come up a couple of times and I don't mean to be rude. I'm just going to ask that. Um, I have saw it like, do y'all, so do you not call her your y'all's daughter since y'all call? Thank you, Canadian cookie. Thank you, my love for gifting one membership. I appreciate you. That was not his daughter. It would, was a creator that was six years that was not his daughter. It was a creator. The six-year-old would have been in bed. Let's go back in. I don't mean to be rude. I'm just going to ask that. Canadian um, I have saw it. Like, do y'all, so do you not call her your y'all's daughter since y'all call him y'all's son? We do. And a lot of people are reading into it. It's just how we talk. Our boy, our girl, my son, my daughter, his son, his daughter. I mean, we just, they're our children, but our children also have other parents as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, both both of our children have more than just two parents. Yeah. And I, I know you probably have been asked this on several channels. Y'all have been on several channels. Um, is, is there a reason that Chris um, hasn't seen him since? I know it had to do with the work, but like, um, why did he say he hadn't seen Sebastian since? Um the first of February. Because that's the truth. He hadn't seen him since the beginning of February. I mean, is there a reason for that? 
he's working three and a half hours away. He don't come home after work. So was he, I mean, and, and I'm not, I mean, I'm just wondering, like, was he gone for like three weeks or two, two and a half weeks or something like that? Yeah, I'm going to clip this right here. Let me get my clipper. Like three weeks or two, two and a half weeks. Bear with me. Two and a half yeah. weeks or something like that. He'd been gone since the beginning of February was the last time he was actually home. Christopher was actually home. And yes, he did see Sebastian when he come home. Okay. Um, it's, you know, it's just part of it when, when you work away, you know, you, you see each other. We yeah. hang in, but he doesn't, it's, it's, it's a lot to travel back and forth all the time. Like that's not a trip that you can make, you know, to and from every day by any means. Oh, I, I get that. That's not something you want to do every day. That would take up your whole, your whole time. Um, but Oh, listen, she was mad. She was mad after. Did he like we never come, like never come home on the weekends? Like when you had Sebastian or anything like that? Well, yeah, that's why he saw him in the beginning of February, but it wasn't every weekend. Okay. Because he doesn't, he works on weekends too a lot. So he can't just come home every weekend. But when he can, he does. He comes home and sees him. Yeah. They actually, they have a pretty good relationship. Did he talk on the phone with Sebastian while he was at work? He does. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, he wants to see if you can drop the link again. I think. Oh, okay. Yes. Back. Yes, absolutely. Here we go. Uh, I know they, they talk regularly. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right, there yeah. we go. A lot of people have their opinions, but Sebastian's got a good bond with both dads. Yeah. I think he, I'm trying to make sure I drop it again because I want to make sure he sees it. I don't think he worked weekends. I'm not fancy like everybody else, so I just need to make sure I get it down there. That's what I was doing was watching to see if he was coming. Oh, there he is. Watch it over here. Okay, I'm watching over there. Okay, so um, where do you want to start at? I was like, just ask little simple questions or, you know, whatever about your work and stuff. Like, did you talk to Sebastian and, you know, stuff like that. But um, um, basically, I know it's a three and a half hour drive. You was at work. Is there a reason that, um, okay, so are you working now or are you just taking off or anything like that? Like for a certain amount of time? Boom. No TF. He doesn't. I call that store Katie. I know the truth. Darcy, thank you so much, my dear, for becoming a member. Thank you, sweet love. Appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my sweetheart. So what biker gangs help them? Well, you remember when he said they went to this biker get together, it was very shortly after Chris or after, sorry, after Sebastian went missing, we went there and guess what? They did not have an event. They did not even have a flyer of Sebastian being missing. Where the hell were you, Katie and Chris, that day? He's only three hours away from home. That's literally no reason for him not to go home on the weekends. Absolutely. Absolutely. Three, like three, three and a half hours. You're going to go home on the weekend. Of course you are. Especially Chris. I mean, he's got to know what's going on. Uh, uh, so Let me go back to this. Is this to me? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So are you asking me that or is one of your... your no, I just... I, I'm asking you that. I just wonder. Okay. Like, if you... I, I was just wondering, like, if you... Like, are you... Um, in fact, let me just... I'll turn my chat off for just a minute so I don't get pretty... No, no, no. Don't, no, no, don't turn your chat off. Leave it okay. on. It's fine. Okay. I no, mean, I, that way you can get all these questions coming in because, like I said, I told you 
I gave you my word. I come on your show. I would answer questions. People ask the questions, but keep in mind, like I told y'all from the very beginning, I'm brash, I'm direct, but I'm respectful. And I ask for the same in everybody else. I mean, my husband works in DC uh, and he drives there and back not during the weekend but during the week and it's just like a weekend though for him so and it's four hours yes he's clapping every single week so he's full of shit yeah, and I, I told them while well, ago, just please be respectful because I wasn't expecting this. Like, please be respectful, y'all. Because so, so one one thing right now, I'm gonna tell you right now, really irks me with some of these folks that want to follow these YouTube, and I'm I'm very honest about this. Somebody says I won't talk to men. You I don't want to talk. You right. and it's not that I don't want to talk to men. I have talked to more law enforcement men agencies in the past 24 days than I've probably ever talked to in my entire life. Same thing goes for women. So no. I don't have a problem talking to a man or talking to a woman. I appreciate everybody's assumptions or concerns, any windows, whatever they want to be. But at the same time, I vet who I talk to. I'm not just going to open up and talk to anybody. Um, and I will put this out there. JLR, everybody wants me to talk to this guy. Explain to me, Smiley, you would probably have a better understanding of this. Explain to me why I should talk to JLR. Um, I just really wish you would because he does because he does go out everywhere and he he wants the truth. I mean, and he may not get the truth out of you, but I have seen him literally go in places deep, like scary places and like really just try to get the truth and try to like follow people that's just taking him in the woods or whatever, show him places, whatever, that he didn't exactly. know from Adam. He goes from one place to another. He may be on a plane to Mexico. Next time he might be in California, whatever. And, you know. Himalaya, thank you, love. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate it. it really irks me. Yeah. He has not done one interview with a male that I – has he done an interview with any male? You're okay, Black Skies, honey. You're okay. I mean, he's grown a lot. I just think a lot of people don't give him a chance. That's just my honest opinion. Right. Said, Do you know why people don't want to give this man a chance? Well, go ahead and tell me. I mean, I want your opinion. So I'm going to tell you my personal opinion. Okay. Okay, this is my, my personal opinion. This is nobody else's. Not my wife's, not anybody else's. My personal opinion. Okay. So I did my I did my due diligence and I read up on Jonathan Lee Rich. Mm -hmm. Rich is, excuse me. I I read up. He spoke to Trev. Well, he didn't know Trev was going to be there at that time either. So he says it's because he didn't want any money made on the internet. But the first interview they did was monet. It's all monetized. I mean, ever yeah. Read up on it, not necessarily the best character in the world when you start reading and the first thing comes up uh everything that you can find on this individual now i don't know him adam from eve i really don't he don't know me adam from eve but when he opens his mouth and goes out there and starts spreading lies and yes lies because unless you've got hardcore evidence that i'm an abusive husband abusive father i've got a, a restraining order against me unless you've got proof don't God. open your mouth. He's angry. Because it's real simple. He's angry. I don't have any of that. Good luck finding it. I've never lied to y'all. I've been open and honest. People don't like my answers. So people want to come back with their own assumptions. And I'm so, so sorry that I can't open up and give you every little piece of evidence and every little detail that we know. I am terribly sorry. It sucks because when it does and it can't come out, my only question to everybody else is, when are you going to start issuing public apologies? That's that's not to you. That is to everybody that wants to First come out never. and badmouth people that don't understand and don't have a clue what's going on. Oh, I think he's I at think work there. Weird. I don't think it's a scanner. Yeah, I can understand that. But let me let me ask you this. Um if um <laughs> Angela. if somebody has over a hundred thousand people, why do you care what their past is or what they say if they can help you get Sebastian's name out? 
Um, so when you, when you and, and I'll be honest with you, I've heard some of yours. More the toxicity that comes up, out of yeah. what you guys projected yeah. about me has only toxified everybody else that puts in a lead or says, well, check out the stepfather. Do this. Do that. Call law enforcement. Check this out. Do this. You take a body. Every time something gets reported, a body comes away from the investigation to vet because they are required to do so. And it sucks because the same answers are the same across the board. Why they won't come out and tell in the public eye, hey, all three parents have been completely vetted. All three parents have been, you know, questioned all of this. Why they won't come out and say it? I understand to a point. I do. You do. But it sucks at the same time because it's extremely hurtful that we, me, my wife, and Seth have to live in this life, even when this is over, however it ends. We have to live this life, not everybody else. Quite frankly, Sebastian's going to find out what everybody's been saying about his parents, and I can't even imagine how distraught he's going to be, but we have to find him. Yeah. I mean, and it sucks. Yeah, you have to find him, and that's the most important thing. Yes. All the rest is going to fall into place later, but the most important thing is he has to be found, and he has to be found regardless, period. I want right. to just side note, he's not clapping, y'all. He's not what? People keep saying that he's clapping. He's not clapping. That's just background noise. Oh, I don't hear any cl Thank you, Darcy. You will have to listen to Smiley's live from today. Great information and why the FBI needs to come in. Well, uh, I mean, the FBI is assisting, but you mean take over? Is that what you mean? Like be the lead on this investigation? Absolutely. He's not clapping. Wow. Defending Chris again, yeah. Yeah. Anytime a child goes missing or there's an Amber Alert, the FBI uh assist yeah y'all well, some people have heard they're clapping it and that's fine the, i'm the head I guess it. i'm currently working yeah y'all now don't. where where understand people where i work is really nobody's business um and i would hope you would respect that because i'm not this criminal i'm not this monster that everybody wants to believe but i do believe in privacy and respect and it goes both ways I don't know if it goes both ways. I think uh, I agree, Camille. I think it's his way or no way. Yeah, I don't feel anybody should be going to anybody's job or anything like that. No, I don't. I don't feel anything like that. Yep, um, as far as JR, that. I mean, you know, that's up to you who you speak with or anything like that. I do appreciate you holding up to your bargain, speaking to to me. Um, some of the harder questions, you know, I. I you know, it has awesome. nothing to do with you, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, as far as all that, that has nothing Morning. to do with, with you. It, it It's just a matter of now. how morning. I put it to every, every case that I care about, um, you know, and there's no reason to be angry about it. It's just something, whether it's me, you or whoever. And that happens. To our, look, I had a grandson that went missing for a couple of hours here, not very long ago back last year. And I know how, how that feels. And, you know, we can sit and say, this happened, this one, this happened, this one, and this one don't know and whatever. But, you know, I'm very passionate about these. I've been through a lot of tragedies that a lot of these people that are my subs don't know that I've been through and a lot I have told them. Um, but, you know, Exactly. I understand yeah. mine is not exactly. yours. I understand that. But I'm very passionate. I'm very passionate about Sebastian. And I do have to ask these questions and they're questions you don't like. And whether you're in here. No, it's, it's, not. It's, not that I, it's not that I don't like them. I don't want anybody to start thinking that there's not questions I don't like. I, I told y'all from the very beginning, I welcome Please. All, all of your questions. No, the you're not. Thing, no, you're not. You will not. I actually think he's intimidated by males, but I also think that he feels can't get by with, I think he thinks he can bully a woman around 
or talk to a woman differently. Because a man will just shove it right back to him. We'll just shove the plate right back to the mother chicken. I think he wants to to he asserts his dominance. Yeah. But Nancy, I wish he would do another interview with Nancy. I'd give anything. Because this time, Nancy collected her information. This time, she will fry him for supper, in my opinion, allegedly. She will fry him. Eighty-nine twenty-eight signatures, that's awesome. Push it, push it, push it, uh, the petition. I'll be honest with you. Petitions don't normally do anything, to be quite honest with you. But hopefully this time it will. Flip. Okay. It's because of an ongoing investigation, there are certain things that we are not and have been told by law enforcement. Do not get into specifics because it could jeopardize the investigation. People don't like that. And I am. Hold on. Let me flip that. All, all of your questions. The only thing. It's because of an ongoing investigation, there are certain things that we are not and have been told by law enforcement. Do not get into specifics because it could jeopardize the investigation. People don't like that. And I am sorry. Um, I And I'm speaking for myself. I'm not going to speak for my wife. I'm not going to speak for Sebastian's father, Seth, his mother, his sister, or anybody for that matter. Yep. But, you know, I do welcome the hard questions. I do. No, you don't. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm OK with it. And for the record. I don't have a problem talking with JLR or anybody else. Now, if you're one of these shows that are for profit, you want to talk, you go out and publicly announce it publicly that any money that you make on the show, as long as me and my wife are involved, that money gets directly posted to signs, flyers. or. I would have loved to hear him tell Nancy that. I would have loved to hear him tell Nancy that. You would never tell Nancy that. Christopher. He would never tell Nancy that. And by the way, Chris, Friday, I'll be in your neck of the woods and I'll be handing out a thousand flyers at a conference. So you're welcome to join me, hand out flyers. You too, Katie. Billboards. To help find our son, I'll do it. But if it's yeah. for personal gain, it ain't happening. Yeah. I just went out today. I mean, I take money off my own stuff. I just went out today and got a bunch of flyers. And I suggested with, I suggested with, um, because Seth wanted, I heard him on another show. But anyway, I, I suggested same thing I did with Summer Wells. Every time you mail something out, get it in the mail, send it out with bills, send it to whoever you write to, do whatever. I'm very passionate about that. I'm very passionate about boots on the ground, going out, handing out the flowers. I don't care if they get thrown in the in the trash, whatever, five minutes later. They see the picture. They see the photo. As long as they see and say, hmm, and take a glance at it, there is a chance for me. That to or something, say something, whatever. And, you know, but nobody is going to dictate my money because let me tell you something. I've been in this for, you know, three years now, banging my head against the wall, being called everything, drug here, drug there, with this big hit you go, stuff, Kim. doing summer wells and not ask for a penny. And I figured, well, if you might can't beat them, join them. Meaning, first I did it to put my cash app up for a, a, point one day and then I took it back down and the next thing I'm just like no they're like you need to monetize I'm like you're right I'm going broke trying to just keep the word out or whatever like somebody just gave me ten dollars I spent that today in gas and going and getting flyers and doing whatever just on Sebastian that's why I know you just said that Chris wanted people to go by the yard signs and flyers from his mother and sister he said it on a live yes when he said his mom was a realtor yeah they can make money off of that mm -hmm. That. so right but that that 
you're not monetizing on it. You're utilizing right. it to do something to put it forward. Right. But those people who want to pocket money, on the other hand, I'm not about pocket. I'm, I'm not. I'm not lining your pockets. Right. No. And, and, you know, and I'm the anger from. I, I'm going to be very respectful because I don't want to say it like I would normally say it. But I tell everybody, well, no, because if there's, there are some folks that don't like cussing. Well, and, and but understand something. I'm I'm gonna I'm respectful about it because I'm being positive here. But if you don't feed me, finance me, or sleep with me, you know I don't I don't owe anything to anybody at that point. Well, you know, I think, I think we kind of think I went there. You know, and See? I don't. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree there. You know. And that brings me to say, hey, you shouldn't, you should not care what people think. And you, but JLR, back to him again. And I hate to keep bringing him up because you're on here and I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. And I want well, to, that's funny. not JLR, but what I want to say is one other thing you have to take in consideration him going to all these places, not just to help Sebastian, but all these other people. That's not free. You've got to remember that. That's not free. So I'm just saying. I'm glad Smiley told him that. cost a lot of money to travel it costs a lot of money to travel absolutely and he's mommy helps with his stuff he just calls mommy mommy house payments do He won't, Darcy. I've got all my questions lined up for him. Anytime he wants to take it, I'm ready. I've got every single question lined up. Come on, Chris. Come on. I'll be respectful to you. I won't even be brash like you. Come on. I'm just saying. Right, but if, if I'm oh, if I'm on his show, we're talking about gosh. my son's case. Mm -hmm. I understand. That's I, there. There is a situation of my son, not everybody else's. You know, and I know he's doing his thing, and I appreciate it. What I don't appreciate, not a chance. Is some of the stuff he does put out there that he absolutely. When I've asked the guy, I said, "Do you have proof? Do you have physical evidence that I am anything? What you say, right? And he doesn't." So then keep my name out of your mouth. Right. It's real simple. And then you don't want him, like if he does this, because he's there now, so you don't want him. And I don't know. I'm not going to talk to him on the phone or anything. I don't do that. Day. But, like, um, I just like what he does. But So I'm just asking, because he'll hear this. So are, are you, so, and you don't want him to uh, monetize on that, what you're, he's talking about your son, correct? Yeah. If he's going to monetize, take that money, go buy flyers, go buy yard right. signs, put it on the billboards. Okay. All right. I mean, I and, that, and, and, that, and that's fair. I'm asking. He wants me on the show. That's fine. Then I want to. I want a. I want a public acknowledgement that you're going to donate every dollar that you make off of my son's show to finding him. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. And I get that. I get that. Now, can I say one other thing? Because yes, before, before we kind of get started, <laughs> the only reason, yes, the only. What do you mean? You, yeah. He's like, uh, TBI told me not to speak to anybody. Bullshit. He's lying. He won't. He won't, Camille. He won't. Yeah, my son, he says. The reason is because I'm fair, 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 and I'm going to say this. Hell um, out And I said I would treat you fair, and I will. Like I try that. to treat everybody. I do try to treat everybody, now, whether I have opinions or I don't. None of that matters, okay? But I, I want to say this. Uh, like my heart really hurts for Seth. It really does. It hurts for it hurts for you. It hurts for Katie. It hurts for everybody because no matter what happened. Now listen, listen. No matter what happened, if it was a if it and don't I don't don't jump on me yet. I'm not finished with my statement. Oh, I'm not. You're fine. If it, was, <laughs> if it was an accident. If it was uh, uh, he walked off. If he crawled. If it was no matter what it was. Right. Uh, I, I I feel for everybody. Okay. I feel for everybody. She but, is. Um, this is just it, it, it's insane. It's insane. Justin, I think Chris's coughing was stopping Katie from saying he's already on his way home. Perhaps hence why the sudden diversion to the three-way call, because she forgot to mention it. Um, That could be possible, but I don't think she forgot to mention he 
three because she goes, hey, we three, we three Wade. But I do believe it. She panicked there and diverted, for sure. Same. I, I feel for Seth, but what I'm, I feel for all of you, but I can feel his pain so much more. But what I feel for is I do feel for his mom. And I'm going to say this when she said, I read, she said, can y'all stop or ask Chris to stop saying that that's his son because it's not. And it kills Seth, even though he don't say anything. I just wanted to say what you had to say about that. Well, let's put it this way. I'm a stepdad mm -hmm. to a 15 year old young man. Okay. Mm -hmm. I came in Sebastian's life, roughly he was like seven, eight ish. Um, and I helped raise him and I still help raise him. And I have a daughter since everybody wants to know who lives with my ex-wife out in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Her mother has another man that lives with her. Now, whether or not they're married, I don't know. That's not my business personally. Okay. Yeah. Last time I checked, they were not married, but my daughter refers to him as daddy. Now, what does a child calling a person got to do with anything? Because as long as a child is being correctly raised and not hurt and loved. Well, it does matter. I mean, the the labels you, we the titles that we have are very important, right? Dad, mom. So... And what agree with him does there. it matter? He's my stepson. He does not call me dad. He does not call me father. He doesn't say it. He calls me. Well, if he doesn't call you dad, then why are you calling him son? Mr. Chris. I, I have always left Mr. that open Chris. for him. He does not have to call me anything he does not want to, except for late for dinner, because that ain't happening. Right. Right. Okay. Even Seth calls Chris his dad. His stepdad. Right. So his mother All, has her opinions yeah. and that's that. You know, and unfortunately, I hate that family disputes. I'm, and, and I don't care if what it is. When something in your life becomes so publicized and it's so dramatic, people find a way to turn and find ways to just make it the worst thing even worse. Just because. And, and it sucks. It truly sucks. I personally think we should all be working together to find Sebastian because Sebastian is an awesome person who deserves to be home. Katie, let me ask you, the night, uh, Sunday night, um, when you say there was a noise, was. what type of noise do you think that was that you heard? I'm not honestly sure. It sounded like he was messing with stuff in his room, which was not uncommon. Very important. Which is why I said, hey, I don't know what you're doing in there, but you're supposed to go to sleep. Okay. So you didn't check on him at that time, but did you did you check on him at midnight? Did you flip the light on and look to see if he was in the bed at midnight when you got up to go to bed? No, um, and because I didn't have any reason to. You know, when he was little, I used to check on him all the time, but he's older now and he's 15 and y'all can figure out why a mother may not want to necessarily pop into a teenage boy's room unexpectedly. Yeah. Um, let's see. Well, I hate that she used that. No thud there. No thud there. But you go in there at six o'clock in the morning. Come on, Katie. Get real. Oh, crap. I just... Shit. I just knocked it off. Okay. Guys, I'm going to end it here. Um, I have to come back here in just a little bit. Jensi, thank you for becoming a member, my dear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so sweet of you. Good to see you. Um, I need to make you a mod, too. Uh, I did. I clicked. Oh, I need to hit the... I clipped it. Guys, I will be back here in just a little bit. I have to. I just realized the time. A moment ago. So I have to go do something. Run an errand. And then I will be back. Shit. When I say shit. Um, I will be back.
and we will be live this evening as well. So we'll be live on here later in a little bit, and we'll be live also on Clutch Them Pearls. So make sure you join us over there. I love you all. I'm so thankful to each and every one of you, truly from the bottom of my heart. Um, thank you all. Thank you, mods. Thank you uh, to the new members. Thank you and the ones who gifted. And thank you just for being here and viewing. It truly means a lot. And thank you for being such caring human beings for the missing Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye-bye.